Hello everyone, today I have another book haul! Surprise, surprise there, not really. I accumulated quite a few more books. I've been going a little crazy, as I've mentioned in most of my book hauls. I think I've had a book haul every month since like October, I think, I don't really know, but it's been a lot. I am really trying to cut down on my book buying. I made a list of books that are coming out throughout the year, like second books, third books in a series, first books that I know are coming out that I'm excited for, etc. I made a list of those and I'm really going to try very hard to just stick to that list and only buy those books when they come out. If I find out that I missed a book and I didn't put it on the list, I will be buying those too. And I'm sure I will just have a random kind of book spree and buy a bunch of books. But I really am, after February, I'm going to try to just slow it down on all the books I buy because I've been buying a lot and I haven't been reading as much just because of school and work so I'm really gonna try to cut down on my buying of books. So with that being said I'm just gonna jump straight on into the book haul. The first book I got isn't really a book. I did get it at Barnes and Noble and it is a notebook. It's a very simple notebook. I think it's really pretty though. It just has like normal pages like this. It's all just like that. But the cover is really pretty. It has a seahorse on it and then it shows some of the beach in the back and then here's the whole cover. I mean it's very simple. That's really all there is to it. But I really think it's really pretty and I have two other notebooks for video ideas. I have a small one where I can carry around with me and then I have another bigger one. But I thought that this would be kind of cute to have just as another one and I might be putting like the books I'm wanting to buy and when they're coming out and stuff just to have kind of a book where I can keep all of this in. Who knows, I might not even use it because I tend to like get notebooks and never use them, but I thought this one was really cute and it was only like five dollars, so I decided to get it. Next book I got is Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard. These are two novella bind-ups and I was kind of debating if I wanted to get this or not, but I just got it at Target and it still has these stupid stickers on the cover, which Target is known for. It's super small. I got it for super cheap and I'm glad that I have it. The next book I picked up is Endure by Sarah B. Larson. I'm really excited to have this book. I think the cover is super, super pretty. This is a third book in the series. The other series is right here if you can see it. First book called Defy is about a girl and she is in the king's army but she is pretending to be a boy and she has to protect the prince and the prince is really like bad boy I mean, he's super moody he's super like mean to people but you know of course they fall in love there's a bunch of different things that goes on in these books. I really really like this series. When I first read it, I think like two years ago, maybe three, I loved it. I was so, I just, it was so good. And then when the second book came out, I didn't remember all the details, so I reread the first one, and I didn't love it as much. I think because I was like, you know, 15, 16 at the time when I read it, so I think it was definitely a little more cheesy, but I still really, really enjoyed it. It's really, really good, and I really recommend it. I'm really excited for this last book. It's the third book in the trilogy, and I'm really excited to start reading it. The next book I got, which actually is pretty heavy, I'm not gonna lie, is Hello Life by Marcus Butler. When I heard he was coming out with this book, I really wanted to get it, and I went to Target right away, and then I should have looked before, but it was only sold online, so I just never picked it up. But when I went to Barnes & Noble, it was there, so I just picked it up, and I'm really happy I did. I like Marcus Butler a lot. I don't watch a ton of his videos. Like, I'm not, like, always looking to see when he's getting his new video up, like Dan and Phil or Tyler. But I do really like the videos that I have watched by him. It's a, just a super quick book. I mean, there's pictures. It's a little over 200 pages, and I'm really excited to have it. I don't know when I'm going to pick it up, but I am really happy that I have it. Next two books I picked up are from Book Outlet. And I made a purchase from Book Outlet in this month. I got all those books and I will leave that book haul down in the description if you want to go watch it. But of course, a day after I put my order in for Book Outlet, I saw a book came up on their website that I've been wanting for a really, really long time. And I'm like, 
I just put an order in. Why couldn't you have done this the day before? Oh, I was so mad. But I had to make another order. And I picked up two books then because I wanted to just get one more so I didn't just make one purchase from Book Outlet. The second book I picked out is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Batson. I have already read this book and I absolutely loved it. I didn't read any other books by her but it was just so good. I love it so much but I read it from the library so I don't have a copy of my own. I love everything about the cover and I'm sure you've seen it before but it has like the little poster inside the flap which I think is just so cool. I know that Morgan Matson is going to be at BookCon and I'm really hoping I can meet her so when I saw that this book was on Book Outlet I was really excited and I decided to pick it up so in case I do get to meet her I can have her book for her to sign. I really love this book. It's incredible. It's about these two best friends and they're planning to have their whole summer together and then her best friend leaves just disappears and she has no idea where she went emily the main character is given a list of things for her to do in the summer some of them include apple picking at night dance until dawn kiss a stranger etc etc there's just a bunch of different things on there that will get emily out of her comfort zone and it's just a super super good book if you have not picked it up you need to because it's just such a fun contemporary book and it's amazing the second book I got from Book Outlet and the reason why I made this purchase was I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I've been wanting this book since it came out but for some reason I just could never justify buying it. I've heard millions of that's over exaggerating just a little bit but I've heard tons of good reviews about this book and I just don't know why I just never picked it up I mean I've always wanted it but I'm kind of like I don't know I really don't know why I haven't bought it but I'm kind of glad I did it because I got this book for like five six dollars I don't even know but I'm really excited to finally have it in my hands it's so beautiful and I'm I'm really excited to read this. I heard it's just an emotional roller coaster. It's about these twins, their brother and sister, and one of the point of views is in the present day, and the other point of views is like years in the past. And it's just they have a follow, and it's just about their lives. I don't know. I've heard it's just excellent. It has two awards, so obviously it's pretty dang good. The next three books I have, I ordered off of Amazon. I was kind of walking around Barnes & Noble, just looking for different books, and I found this book. And the cover was absolutely stunning. I've heard a few things about it on BookTube, I believe, but I really don't have any clue what it's about but I literally bought this solely based on the cover and that is The Winter Sea by Suanna Kersley. This like this I don't know why this book is so stunning like first I just love the cover of this because it reminds me of The Little Mermaid but then just around here in the back I don't know I just think this book is so beautiful. I think it's a historical fiction book I literally have no idea what this book is about, but I knew I had to buy it. So I went home and I ordered it off of Amazon because it was a little cheaper online than in the bookstore. It's so pretty. I just, I can't get over how pretty it actually is. If anyone knows what this book is about, please tell me because I would love to know. I literally, I don't even know, but I kind of like don't want to know. I kind of want to just go into it like not really knowing anything. I'm not a huge fan of historical fiction. But I'm really excited to give this one a chance. And even if I just never read it, I'm really happy to have it on my shelf. The next book I got off of Amazon is November 9 by Colleen Hoover. I have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I have not read it yet, but I've heard tons of good things about Colleen Hoover and I really want to get into her books. I don't think I'm going to collect any more of her books until I read Ugly Love and this one, but I really, really like the premise of it. Basically, these two people meet every single year on November 9th. That's really all I know about it, but I've heard, like I said, very, very good things, and I really wanted to pick this one up for a while. And the last book I got in this book haul is I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. I've actually wanted this book for a very long time. It looks like this book came out in 2012 
and I was about like 14 at the time. When I saw this, it looked really interesting, but I was kind of a little too young for it because I know it's like new adults or adults, I'm not really sure which one. But it just sounds super interesting and I know I've wanted this one for a super, super long time. So I'm really happy that I got it. It's kind of just a spontaneous purchase, but I'm glad that I got it. It's about this girl named Poppy and she loses her engagement ring and she loses her purse. So she has nothing and she's freaking out a little bit, but she finds the cell phone in a garbage can and she takes it and it turns out to be someone's assistant's phone. A bunch of different things kind of ensue from there. This is just going to be such a cute contemporary read. I've been really like itching to read contemporary books. So I'm really glad I have this one. So whenever I feel like it, I can just pick it up. Here are all of my books I got in this January part two book haul. I'm seriously running out of space on my shelf. I'm super, super happy to have every single one of these. Thank you so, so much for watching yet another book haul from me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please feel free to, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!